Last time on Scarlet Hollow. <laughs> Afraid! Afraid! <laughs> Afraid! Death comes for Dustin! <laughs> Moth trap, do not touch. You. <laughs> you reach for the bowl, but as soon as you pull it down, a blend of vinegar and dead moth splashes on you, immediately staining your shirt. On the back of the bowl is a note that says, Moth trap, do not touch. Whoops. I'm upset now. I'm also <laughs> upset now. <laughs> Uh, um. Oh shoot! I but I want to go by. I want to go change. <laughs> what my house? Ah! I want my room to change my shirt. Why can't I do that? Uh. Maybe there's something else you could snack on. No. Um, no. Um. Well, guess we're going into town with moth water on us. Yep. I love that for us. <laughs> Same. <laughs> There's not much left for you to do here except go to the town. We don't need to change our shirt or nothing. Oh, thank God. <laughs> before the house, you... Before leaving the house, you rinse off and change into a clean shirt. You're not about to meet new people coated in vinegar and dead moths. You know, that was our thought, but we sure did eat and make a peanut butter and jelly while covered in dead moths. So... <laughs> It's fine, we're fine. <laughs> if you'd have known you'd wind up having to walk all the way back to town, you probably would have just asked Tabitha to leave you at the bus stop, especially with how unhappy she seemed to see you. Right? If only you could wipe the slate between the two of you and... of you clean and bury some of the tension. I added commas where there shouldn't have been, but it's okay. You did. It's okay. All the words are there. It's fine. Though maybe her mother's funeral isn't the best time for something like that. Then again, maybe it's the perfect time. No. Let's continue. Tell the path. It's really pretty out here. Mm -hmm. There's bird chirping. Finally, you made it back to town. And these tiny little squares don't look like they would fit a car. No. Looks like we got books, uh, town hall, statue, more flowers, be or unless that's just leaves crumpled into a I think thing. it's just leaves, because there's this also some over there. Oh, okay. This part just at first made me think it was another bouquet. Uh. -huh. And then I realized those were leaves. <laughs> uh, the holler, as that guy said on the bus. It's probably seen better days. It still has the feeling of an idyllic country town. I didn't know that's how you spelled idyllic, but cool. <laughs> you know, you'd, you'd probably think it had idea in it, but... Right? <laughs> but it's sideways. It's sideways. Its sidewalks are cracked, and many of the storefronts are boarded up. <laughs> I don't see any cracks in the sideways. Their windows dusty with age. A chill breeze <laughs> settles into our audio down the lane, and you shudder, suddenly feeling as if you're peering into a grave. And it's also Don't good- Don't see any cracks in these sideways. <laughs> <laughs> you just noticed that? No, I, I mentioned it before you started talking. I said girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went back to how I said it before. <laughs> Are you having fun making quotes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. That doesn't say it's a good thing that we uh, changed our shirt so that we're not feeling the breeze on our damp shirt. Look at you putting the game in there so we understand what's happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, puppy! <gasps> it's a pug! Her name is Gretchen! Gretchen, come back. Oh my god, I love her! Why, I do declare, who is this gorgeous stranger? 
And why do they smell of peanut butter? Sorry about that. Gretchen can be very slippery when she wants to be. She loves to get loose and cause havoc. Love her. Look at this cute dog. <laughs> Alright, we want to explore talk to animals. I don't know. Give them your peanuts. It's nice to meet you, Gretchen. Gretchen. Nice to meet you, Gretchen. We want to say hi to me, Mr. Yes. Gretchen. It's nice to meet you, Gretchen. I'm Maple. My, oh my. I can't remember the last time I met a newcomer who was so wonderfully polite. It's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance, Maple. <laughs> That's a funny way to introduce yourself. I'm Stella. Can I be Stella's girlfriend? <laughs> I like Stella. <laughs> hey, look, Mothman. That was on our shirt earlier. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is this is my girlfriend in disguise. <laughs> Southern accent and all. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> Alex is from Missouri. Oh, that's funny. I couldn't remember the how they spoke before. We only met once, so I don't remember. True. You did only meet once. It's a year ago. My Hero Academia movie two. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> it's been so long to see your face. <laughs> you know, it has been a minute. You can't even see my face currently. No. <laughs> it's not so often I see a strange face up in the holler. <laughs> All up in the holler. <laughs> Every now and then there's a new crop of coal folks, but you don't look dusty enough for that. Ooh, blush. I like her. <laughs> you are in town for the funeral, are you? The scarlet funeral? <laughs> Would you like one? <laughs> Introduce yourself. Introduce myself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maple. I <laughs> like how that was our introduction. <laughs> you must be Tabby's cousin, right? Upon mention of your cousin, Gretchen mutters under her breath. One of these days, I'll get that Tabitha to pet me. <laughs> At you? <laughs> That's the only person I can think of who would come to town for the funeral. How's she holding up? To be honest, I've been a little worried about her. All alone up in that big house. As I look, gazing longingly up toward the house. I'm sorry, did you say Tabby? <laughs> She's in a conflict with herself. Whoever I met today, that isn't the real Tabitha. Hmm. Dear Lord. <laughs> She's alright. I'm worried. Is she always so... I don't know. I don't Let's care. Let's explore first. I'm sorry. Did you say Tabby? T did I hear you right? I can't imagine Tabitha going by something so... bubbly. Or cat-like. <laughs> she did back when I knew her better. It's been a while. I hope she's okay. Look at this dog face. I love it. I love <laughs> the pug. Alright, what are we thinking? I'm worried about her too. She's always been a little rough around the edges. But I figured she'd probably be having a rough go of things. She and her mom were real close. To think she'd been up in that old mansion all by herself. It'll probably be good for her now that you're staying there, even if she doesn't. Things so know herself. <laughs> How long have you known her? Are you friends? She's not really rude. worth your time. <laughs> That's rude. Um, How long have you known her? Oh, quite a long time. This town's pretty small, so... 
everybody known everybody else as far back as they can remember. Tabby and I got a little close when we were both back in the school's production of A Midsummer's Night Dream. I was Puck and she was a mustard seed. And now I really want this woman to be my <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> also, my southern accent. Because I feel like it's she slipping. played Puck. Because <laughs> she played Puck. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I, it's because I know some, what's going to happen later, so I'm just like, you don't even know. <laughs> um, I want to date this woman. I don't <laughs> care what she becomes. <laughs> no, you're going to like her even more. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> also, I just have to say, I feel like my my accent is slipping. I can't remember how it's I fine, do fine. it every time. <laughs> Keep doing a southern accent. You're good. <laughs> As you might have expected, she was more than a little prickly, but I managed to soften her up a bit in the end. But then she graduated and that was that. I haven't seen that girl or her horrible little cat since I was middle-aged, says the dog. <sighs> yeah, that cat is horrible. <laughs> oh! Before it slips my mind, if you're staying up in that spooky old mansion, you must have met the Fru Fru. How does the that Fru Fru? How does that monster fare? Uh, Tabitha's cat. Unfortunately, we've met. I will pet her if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Sounds like you and Fru Fru have a history. Ignore Gretchen. No, it's my quirk. My quirk. I am from my, my direct. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is what we're thinking. I will pet her if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> yeah, I've met Fru Fru. She might think she's uh, so much better than me, but I will get her to let me pet her. Wait, what? Are you messing with me? You can't actually talk to my dog, right? Yeah, Alas, you have discovered my dark <laughs> Alas, you have discovered. Uh, you haven't even seen my mystical side. <laughs> yeah, my mystical side's a little weird. Um, alas. <laughs> alas. Oh my god, her face. She does not believe us. Her dog sounds like something so much. She talks. I love her. <laughs> I could talk with animals. What does a southern bell sound like? Uh, like deep Georgia accent. I don't know what a deep Georgia accent sounds like off the top of my head. The bless your heart. So kind of more of what I gave to Stella, not to Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should swap their voices. <laughs> We're in the south regardless, so... I'll make them both the same. <laughs> Um, what even is accents anymore? <laughs> yeah, of course you're joking. You and Stella maintain silent, awkward eye contact. No, I'm serious. Mm. I'm talking to your dog. <laughs> well, next time you see that devil, please send my regards. And do let her know that I... That not only do I still draw breath... But I still very much plan to outlive her. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, look at those glossed over blind eyes. That, that, that pugs <laughs> don't live that long. <laughs> Cats live for a while. They, they live out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you just got into town, you must be starving. I wouldn't turn down more food. <laughs> I know you wouldn't. I was just on my way to the diner for a coffee. They've got amazing biscuits. My treat. Yes, please. Alright. So before we even get into this, to the text, we got guy with a hairnet, nice looking lady, two decently, two two decently jolly looking cops. At least one is jolly looking. Whoever the heck this Tabitha-looking person is, because of their hair. 
a nice this well, nice looking black nice guy with waiter. his very tight pants. Um <laughs> We got a group of firefighters he, where one of them might is very be a depressed. little fruity. Um you know. Um we got a little old lady drawing some something. And a, a cute orange li- haired lady. Cool. There's pie. Yes. Next pie. We also got Sorry. bottomless coffee for a dollar, Sunday pack cake special, sausage biscuit special, fancy city coffee for two dollars. Um, or winnings, winning smile is Aww. free. I love it. <laughs> oh, that part's you can't see that part. That's okay. Um, the pleasant aroma of greasy breakfast food hangs heavy in the air, in contrast with the empty, lifeless atmosphere of the family estate. The diner is filled with the comforting din of human life. I love it. I love it. Oh, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> and just so you know, there there is a slight hustle and bustle of, you know, idle chatter. It is gone. All oh, of yeah, it, everybody started staring at us, except for the person reading their menu back there. Yeah. All of which grinds to a sudden halt as the patrons realize that a stranger has entered the establishment. Hi, everyone. I'm Maple. <laughs> Quietly slide into say hi. <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm Maple. Just in town for the funeral. I'ma put the fun in funeral. <laughs> Before anyone can respond, you and Stella casually slide into a booth, pretending the whole town didn't just gawk at you like a sideshow attraction. And there was a nice rubber oh, I love her. Squeeze. I love her. Oh my god. She looks the same as she did outside. What are you- <laughs> I'm sorry. My heart is pining. <laughs> also, this cop is talking about us. Yeah. Alright. Looks like or er, looks like your entrance was a little more dramatic than you were expecting, huh? The folks round here don't get many strangers as is. And with who you're related to, well, let's just say you'll be the talk of the town for a while. Hey Stella, I went ahead and fixed you up your coffee. They- <gasps> he has snake bites! <laughs> I don't he know. is totally gay. <laughs> <laughs> they gracefully place a cup of specially brewed coffee in front of Stella. Hey, hey. <gasps> yes. Well, that's that's just because we don't know their preferences yet. Oh shucks! Thanks, Avery. And here's some bacon for the little lady. <gasps> for me? For me? <laughs> Oh my god, the dog sniffing and eating sound effects. Can <laughs> you hide the button so I can see the button? Hide the button? Uh, you press H to hide the oh. text box. Oh. You were over here reading when I wasn't, so... Ah! <laughs> I love her! Here, oh, I just, love uh... this whole... I love this whole scene. <laughs> there. I have taken a screenshot, that way I can have it as the thumbnail because Bailey's in love. I am in love. <laughs> Gretchen sniffs the bacon and digs in. I like how they're just like, we know you want to look at this dog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, the t- <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> Anything for you? Offer them your boiled no. peanuts. <laughs> Is it bacon bad for dogs? No, I ate. How much for coffee? Order a coffee, biscuit, or biscuit and a coffee. Biscuit and a coffee. She said the biscuits were good. <laughs> <laughs> I trust her. Could I have a biscuit and a coffee, please? I heard they were really good. From this little old lady giving me a wink here. I love her. <laughs> Let me just... <laughs> <laughs> Best, Best in the county. Only for you, sugar muffins. Well, I right clicked. Nice. I, I can save. Let's save. <laughs> cool. Good to know that right clicking saves. 
Cool. Avery pours a fragrant brew into the empty mug in front of you. They linger after pouring your coffee, turning to you nervously. Oh, and I am um, sorry for your loss. Before you have the chance to respond, they run away as quickly as they can. I love the use of neutral pronouns until yeah. stated otherwise. I love it. <laughs> Glad you took my advice with the biscuit. You won't regret it. Oh. That makes the Mothman shirt way more... <laughs> puppy is sad. Oh, puppy's out, out of bacon. Out of bacon. <laughs> Anyways, the funeral's not till Sunday, right? That gives you quite the bit of time to slum around town. I'm trying to think if there are any cool events going on this week. There's always the reading adventure at the library, which is supposed to be for little kids, but I do it every month anyway. Oh, oh this is my girlfriend. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Avery's throwing a party Saturday night, so that's something we can look forward to. to party. And there's the weekly Sunday potluck. That should be right after the funeral, too, so it'll be a special occasion. Is the potluck a church thing? Cool. I just... I will not turn down food even if it's at a church. So cool. <laughs> Sounds neat. Maybe I'll check some of these things out. Anyway, those are all the big events I can think of. As for the day-to-day, -day, any idea how you want to kill time for the rest of the week? Um... No clue, I'll be busy. Or... I'll probably just do what I can to support Tabitha. I'm torn between two. Uh, the no clue because it could lead to her like saying, I'll show you around town and we can have fun. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, supporting Tabitha because that'll, you know, play on the sympathy. God, that pug's pout. <laughs> um. <laughs> so sad. Such a sad puppy. Um, I feel like no clue would be good because that way it gives us both options. True. That way we're not just like, fuck you, Stella. I'm going to Tabitha. Yeah. yeah. I have no clue. Well, you're in luck. As you've happened to run into the person who knows all the best stuff to do around here. And has a limitless time to show you around. My boss is pretty forgiving. Oh wait, you probably wouldn't get that joke since we don't know each other that well. I'm self-employed, so I'm my own boss. So I'm forgiving myself. <laughs> Let me stay with you forever. Get it? <laughs> Dog. laugh uproariously. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Give a wooden laugh. No, please explain the joke. I wouldn't say uproariously, but it was funny. <laughs> and wooden means that you're laughing like a fake laugh? Yeah. So we want to be give a nice, genuine, hearty laugh? Sure. Ha! Funny joke! <laughs> Good soup. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. And as luck has it, so are you. <laughs> Before Stella can finish, Avery returns with a biscuit. Is there nothing else coming for me? Gosh, if I had known the play of Baker would be my main and only course, I would have waited before digging in. <laughs> Such a sad puppy. Such a sad puppy. Can I get the puppy some more bacon? <laughs> Here's your biscuit. When he says it's on the house, she sends her condolences. Thanks. You don't have to do that. Do I look like a charity case? Thanks. It looks great. It looks like a biscuit. Thanks, Avery. It looks great. Mystical. You pick up the biscuit and it's delicate and fluffy. <laughs> it nearly crumbles at your touch. Buttery warmth emanates from its surface. 
You don't even need to taste it to know that it's good. Divinity given buttery form. <laughs> now I want some biscuits and gravy. Fuck. You take a bite. It melts in your mouth as if nothing but butter is suspended in a thin matrix of dough. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Bailey is having a, a food gasm over here. <laughs> Truly, this is a perfect biscuit. Make me a little biscuit Whoa. Oh. This is the best biscuit I've ever had. But that's not saying much. Just say whoa. <laughs> whoa. This is really good biscuit. Wow. Oh, wow. Can't remember how that one lady speaks from Two Broke Girls. She says, wow. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. Avery lingers at the table for a moment, given a curious looking face. You notice in the flirt? <laughs> <laughs> so, has Stella mentioned she's famous? <laughs> oh, Avery, I am not famous. Look, if you're not gonna go around tooting your own horn, you know I'm gonna do it for you. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you do? That's rad. Oh, okay. How does it make money? Ugh, you and everyone else. What kind of videos do you make? <laughs> Bailey? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What do you make? Oh my god. <laughs> cool. What kind of videos do you do? She hunts cryptids. She is literally my girlfriend. <laughs> See, I told you you were gonna like her even more. <laughs> you should really check out her channel, Mabel. It's amazing. I think it's- I think the best video sh you should to start out would be with the river one. Not the lake, but, you know, the controversial one. Oh yeah. The Katawaba River Runner. I didn't expect much out of the footage at the time, but it wound up being my most popular video by far. This thing. So the River Runner is a cryptid that's only known for it from a single sighting. Two Boy Scouts thought they saw something big and weird in the Kawatabo River. Don't care that I dyslexia that, that's easier for me to speak. And actual cryptid. That's all I had to go on. But then I wound up catching this on camera. Stella pulls out her phone and shows you a clip of something in a river. Some folks said it was a beaver, but if that was the case, it'd be at least twice the size of any beaver I'd seen. I also had people saying it was a dog, or even a capybara, but that must have escaped from a local wildlife sanctuary. It was a mountain lion. I could smell its stink from miles away. <laughs> I'm still not sure what it was, and I'm not the only one who saw that thing with my own two eyes. That's I'm the only said, one. But... I'm the only one. I'm not There's the only no one. only in here. <laughs> I'm the one. The only one. <laughs> talk to animals. It's a lion. Gretchen thinks it's about lions. No, let's not talk to Gretchen. Gretchen before. hasn't said anything. Gretchen hasn't said yeah. anything. Yeah, Gretchen said said that it was a cryptid. That it was a that it was a oh, mountain lion. The, oh, I missed. I didn't notice that the thing changed. The name change. Yeah. I thought I was still Stella talking. You really think Stella smelled a mountain lion? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't fucking know. I was just reading. <laughs> I was busy being like, keep the accent good. I want to be a good southern accent. 
Well, they both have a southern accent, so it's fine. That's an honest-to-God cryptid there. Oh, yeah, totally a dog. Or wait, a beaver? Hold on. I don't... Whatever... Well, uh, go with the... It's an honest-to-God cryptid there. I am just gonna dive full head in there. <laughs> that's an honest-to-goodness cryptid you got right there. No way that's a beaver or a dog. There ain't no way a cat bar would be swimming in the river in the mountains of North Carolina. Unless there is some North American colony of capybaras in the Appalachia. But that would still count as a cryptid, wouldn't it? Yeah. Until someone catches the capybara up there. That would still count as a cryptid by most standards. Exactly. <laughs> as long as we don't have to deal with not deers, we're fine. With, um, with what? Well, that's a cryptid around these parts. Uh, around Appalachia. Um, which are not deer. Which are um, they're closely related to Wendigos. Hmm. My comment section went nuts for this footage, and from there it spread to Twitter pretty fast. There were polls for days. I've even had actual experts weighing in. It was all really cool experience. And I'm and it meant the video did some pretty good numbers. These numbers were good. Personally, I'm a fan of the Capybara theory. Sure, it's not like any local sanctuaries were missing one, but there's always people keeping exotic animals as pets. Exactly. Kind of a sewer gator type of situation. <laughs> exactly. Some exotic pet owner set it free and now it will ro forever roam the Katawaba. Confusing Boy Scouts and YouTube commenters for years to come. <laughs> so, speaking of things to do around town, I was actually planning on filming this week's video tonight. I was wondering if maybe you want to come along. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, please. I knew you would, Bailey. <laughs> it's a pretty easy one this week. We wouldn't even have to camp anywhere. I'm gonna go up after the- What? No spoilers. Whoops. Sorry, Avery. It's okay. I should probably be getting back to it instead of staying around here chatting with friends. See y'all around. Now that the coast is clear, I'm going after the skunk ape. Okay. <laughs> Ew, stinky. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Isn't that just worse, Bigfoot? Heck yeah. Sorta. Yeah. Heck yeah, skunk ape is hilarious. I, s I saw a docu spiel on it once, stinky Bigfoot. <laughs> right? It should be pretty fun video. It's hard to be serious when you're talking about something that's famous for smelling bad. Most skunk, most skunk ape sightings are from Florida, where you were potentially from. Not entirely sure. But while I was doing research for last week's video, I came across a report from a lady in, from a town over who claimed to have seen one on her deck playing tug of war with her dog. And as I leave no stone unturned, it I decided it was worth investigating. So, what do you say? Wanna tag along? Yes, please. Hold the camera for me while I narrate against a darkening sky, that sort of thing. Y you gonna be there, Gretchen? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I'd love to come along. That's great. It's been a while since I've had anyone besides Gretchen out there with me. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I actually started the channel with a couple of buddies of mine back in middle school, so it's kind of like a blast from the past. I love her. 
her. <laughs> Me and Kanika and Reese running around in the woods, flapping over rocks and bothering salamanders. Our videos were terrible, but we had a lot of fun. And that's all that mattered to us. You know, that gets me thinking. I wonder if they'd be down to come along with us. Get the old gang back together. Though I guess Kanika has to close out the general store tonight, so I'm pretty sure she's a no-go. But Reese... I think there's a decent chance we could get him to come out of his hidey hole if he's up for it. Do you mind if I make a quick call? Not at all. She pulls out her phone. It's ringing. Breeze, dude. What's up? It feels like it's been forever. Sorry. <laughs> it seems like that was the way she said it, though. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear about that. Do you want me to come by? Okay, if you're really sure. But if you change your mind... Oh, I was just calling to ask and see if you wanted to come out to the woods tonight. I met somebody cool in town today. The Tabitha's cousin. I know! Yeah, she just got here for the week. They? We are they. They just got here for the week, I'm sorry. <laughs> I changed our pronouns. We are a tree. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go out to look for the skunk ape. We could take the easier trails if that would help. Dang, man, that sounds awful. I hope you take it easy tonight. I'll swing by sometime this week and we can have a more low-key hang. How's that? I smell cookies. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll bring them. Talk to you soon. Bye, bud. Beep. <gasps> Reese. There's always been something off about that boy. I never did like the smell of him. Well, looks like it's just you and me, pal. That's fine. <laughs> did he ask you to bring, <laughs> me, to you to bring me to his house? You want me to say that? Yeah. Why? Well, he is excited to meet you, of course. I think you'll find most town. Most town in this, folks, are. <laughs> is he okay? Are you okay? What's his deal? I'm glad it's just the is two of okay? us. Is he okay? Is he okay? He's not feeling well, that's all. He's had a lot going on in the past, gosh, ten years or so. But I feel like it's gone a lot worse recently. I can't remember the last time I saw him leave his house. Oh well, it's not my place to talk about, really. I just got a little excited thinking about having him come along. He's hilarious. You'd love him. We should swing by his place sometime this week. Cool. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Whoops. I right clicked. Oh, have I met enough people already? Rude. That'd be nice. I'd love to meet your friends because I love you and I want to hang out with you. I want to stay <laughs> with you forever. <laughs> Can I just move here? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'll make it happen. He's definitely a trickier one to meet. Kanika is much easier to track down since she's at the general store basically every day. But friendship can wait. We've got a skunk ape to hunt. So, we should probably head out if we want to make it up to the mountain before it's too dark. Come on, let's blow this popsicle stand. 